Hi everyone, today I wanted to explain to you how to use the HRR plates, the Hardy Rand Riddler color plates. Now these are my preferred color plates when it comes to testing color vision in a clinic. Um, I actually prefer these over the Ishiharas and there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, the HRR can test both red, green, and blue yellow deficiencies. Um, Ishihara only tests congenital red, green deficiencies. And the second reason is because the resolution of the dots on the HRR plates is slightly bigger. So uh, if someone has decreased vision, for example, uh, 2200, uh, they can still see the dots versus with Ishihara, the required resolution is about 2060 or so. So people with poor vision can use these a little bit better. So let me explain to you how to actually use this book because I know that there is sometimes confusion about how to use it. So first of all, what I suggest that everybody do is open it and read the instructions. When you read the instructions, you'll see that there are three sets of plates that you can test. So there are demonstration plates, then there are screening plates, and then finally there are diagnostic plates. So you don't have to do all of them. Most books have 24 plates. I recommend doing the demonstration plates, which are four plates, and then the screening plates, which are the next six plates. So you're going to do plates one through four as demonstration, and then plates five through ten as screening. And then 11 through 24 are more for specific diagnosis of color vision deficits. You don't have to do those unless you're doing research. So let's explain how to do the demonstration plates. So the book here is different than Ishihara in that it uses um, shapes. So Ishihara uses numbers, the HRR uses shapes. And so the, what you're going to explain to the patient is, okay, I'm going to show you, I'm going to test your color vision, I'm going to show you different shapes. You'll see either a circle, an X, or a triangle. Please tell me the shape you see. You do not have to tell me the color, just the shape. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through and make sure that they don't actually touch and touch the shapes that they're seeing with their finger. Um, so I know a lot of people are tempted to trace, but that, you know, our fingers have residue on them. And this residue over time after you're testing, after you're testing hundreds if not thousands of patients, that residue can degrade the color on the book. So you wanna have them either use a brush or use a pen or the, tip, the, um, the other end of the pen and just trace this way so they're not actually touching the book. So this is demonstration plate number one. Um, this is so that, again, you see a circle and an X. Here's plate number two, there's an X and a triangle. This is plate number three, it's a circle. And then plate number four is actually a blank plate. So this is kind of like a trick plate, but anyway, there are four demonstration pl plates, three with actual uh, symbols on them, but you do not score these. And if someone can't see these demonstration plates, when perhaps they don't quite understand the test, or their vision is poor, or their color vision is poor, there really is no reason to go on with the rest of the test. You just write, could not see the control plates. But if the patient can see them, then you go on to the screening plates. So now there are six screening plates. And of the screening plates, the first two screening plates test blue yellow, and the next four test red green. And so here's screening plate number one. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's quite subtle. There is a circle here and an X here. Plate number one, there's two figures on this plate. Here's plate number two. And so there's a circle and then there's a triangle. So those are the two blue yellow plates. Now you're gonna move on to the red green plates. And here, it says very subtle. I hope you all can see this, but there's an X here and there's a triangle here. It's a very, very faint. It's like a very light mauve color. This is the first red green plate. And then the next one is triangle circle. This is also red green, testing red green. Here's a circle. There's only one figure on this page. So don't be fooled, there's only one. And then the last screening plate you're gonna use is this one here, which is an X. So um, the screening plates are numbered on the back. If you look at the back here, there are numbers here. So the screening plates are numbered five through 10. Those are the ones you're gonna test. And how you're gonna score this is, you're gonna score it out of 10. So there are 10 figures, and you're gonna say how many they got correct. So 10 out of 10, or two out of 10, or six out of 10. Another way you could do it is, there are six plates or six pages, you can uh, write down the number of plates that they got correct. So for example, six out of six, or four out of six, or four and a half out of six, if they only got half of one page. So there are two ways to score it. But anyway, this is the uh, this is pretty much what I do for most of my patients is that I stop at the screening plates. Now, if you wanted to go further and actually um, uh, basically quantify or uh, further qualify their type of color vision defect, you can do the rest of the plates 11 through 24. Now, um, I'm not gonna go through them all, but you can see that they're slightly brighter, they're super threshold um, plates. And if you wanted to actually 
grade this, if you go back again, if you go back to the instructions in the front, there's this sheet here, which is the scoring sheet. Now, you don't necessarily have to score it like this, but basically it says here the demonstration plates are not scored, plates one through four. These are the screening plates, plates five through 10. And then here are the actual diagnostic plates. And based on how the patient responds, you can quantify or you can qualify it, whether they have a mild, moderate, or more strong red-green defect, or whether they have a moderate or strong blue-yellow defect. So I love this book. This is my go-to book over Ishihara plates. I hope you try it out. And um, it's also very good at picking up subtle changes. For example, optic neuritis with subtle color issues or perhaps improving optic neuritis with subtle color issues. Um, Non-arteritic ischemic optic neuropathy, it's great for that. Um, and uh, many other types of optic nerve conditions. So anyway, uh, if you have any questions, please DM me, I'm happy to answer them.